Hey everybody, Tim Brzezinski here. In this screencast, I'm gonna show you how to quickly uh, use GeoGebra's curve command to make a segment, okay? And then use the surface command to spin that segment 360 degrees about any line to create a surface of revolution. We'll be able to move the segment anywhere we want and the line anywhere we want. The possibilities here are endless. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen. We'll rock and roll and have some fun for a couple minutes here. So if you wanna pause the video as you need and uh, just uh, to do what you need to do, that's totally cool. You do what you have to do here. So let's go to GeoGebra's 3D calculator. We're going to use the line tool here to make a line. We'll move it off the gray horizontal uh, Z equals zero plane later. Okay, and then let's actually plot two points. This is the point tool, point C and point D. We'll keep them on the gray plane for now, all right? Now, most people would think, okay, let's use the segment tool here. I see segment over here to make C and D. Now, normally that's great thinking. That's what you wanna do, but unfortunately we can't use the surface command to rotate a segment. We can only rotate what we call a curve, right? Or actually a function here. Now I could come up with a function here, you know, uh, from C and D, but I don't feel like thinking that hard, right? But so I'm actually gonna undo what I just did right there. So C and D. Now what we're gonna do is first of all, let's actually create the slider to make to do the angle first. N, and we'll let N go from zero uh, to 360 degrees, or I'll just type in two pi or two pi, incrementing by something small to make it smooth, right? So there you go, right? And so now, here's what's gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna type, I'm gonna type in what we need to type and I'm gonna explain it uh, as uh, after I do so. It's actually called the curve command. Let me just uh, get closer there. We type the word curve and then I'm gonna type in this expression here, C plus. Uh, and a big shout out to Bernat from, uh, for actually helping me here because the way I did it in the uh, previous video was way more complicated than what you see here. Okay, but give me a second, and there we go. Now, here's what we're doing. Ignore all the ignore all these numbers here, but just focus on this. We're going to use GeoGebra's curve command. We're actually doing uh, parametric uh, equations here. Okay, so we're going to start at point C, as you see right here, point C, and D, if you think of D minus C as being the change, when I travel from C to D, right, the change is really point D minus point C. Now, some of you are thinking, well, Tim, you don't subtract points. I, I get that. But what GeoGebra is actually doing is subtracting the coordinates of points D and C because the final X, uh, the final X com uh, coordinate minus the final X co component here is going to be the X component of, if you will, the vector that connects C to D. Talk about direction, right? And then the Y component of D minus the Y component of C is going to be the, the change in y, or the y component of the vector cd if we were to make it, and respectively also with z. So basically, I, I'm just saying, hey, here's what the, right here, this is what the curve is gonna, how we're gonna parameterize the curve, the, the segment, but t, and t is the name of the variable we're using. We could have called it w or p, just can't use x, y, or z, that's all. And t is gonna go from zero to one. Now there's infinitely many ways to parameterize a curve. Right, but I just, in this case, pick the simplest, hit enter, and it actually makes it right there. So now, um, GeoGebra, why did I use the curve command? Well, because now, of the three surface commands that exist, I'm gonna use the second one right here. Surface, curve, angle, line. What's the curve called? A, the angle's called N, and what's the name of my line? F, so check it out. Surface, curve, angle, line. Boom, there you go, baby, right there, nice, right? And I spin this thing around and lo and behold, voila, there it is. And now C and D could be moved, as you see right here. I can even take C, click it again, I could bump it off the plane, see what I mean? I could take D and move it below the plane even, kind of do, I can do, the possibilities here are absolutely endless. And you wanna move the, you wanna, move, I'm gonna hit shift and kind of shift this way, so move it here. If you want to move the line, you, you totally can, and that's how we uh, that's how we do it. Okay, so how do you have to actually take any? You can uh, take any curve that's parameterized in three space or on, on or in the plane. You could keep it in the two D plane; doesn't matter. But again, forget just spinning about x axis or y axis or about a horizontal vertical line in the gray plane. You could spin about any oblique line in space with GeoGebra. That's how powerful this app is. And if I right click on settings here. 
I can change the color, do whatever. And under style, I don't like to show the line so much. Like you could actually gray it out. But if I go to thickness of zero and look at that, nice and smooth. Looks uh, looks a little elegant to me, you know what I mean? But you could format it, you could save it, you could do whatever. And then uh, you could open it up in augmented reality and explore it, uh, explore it that way. It's pretty amazing what you could do with GeoGebra. 3D app. A lot more tutorials, a lot more how-tos coming, so uh, stay tuned. If you like what you see here, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, a lot more coming, so um, yeah. Uh, if you're a math teacher, I wish you and your students much success with respect to uh, discovering mathematics on a regular uh, basis, so um, we'd love to hear from you. You can uh, send me an email, dynamicmathsolutions at gmail.com. Uh, any requests for videos and stuff? Um, I get emails all over, so and a lot of times to answer the email, I'll just do a quick screencast like this. So, um, happy Friday! Thanks for watching, and have a great weekend.